and I spent most of my youthful life in Nigeria. By the grace of God, the missionaries from this country came to the nation of Nigeria to give us schools, to give us hospitals, and our faith. By the special grace of God, Great Britain has impacted my life, my family, my values. Most of who I am today is as a result of what our forefathers came to give us in the nation of Nigeria. For many years, I dreamt of coming to this nation to come and see the revival centers, to come and see places where um, the Bible were translated, where William Wilberforce stood, where John Wesley brought the Methodist gospel to us in Africa, sure. where one of my heroes, Charles Spurgeon, came from. I was Hope looking forward to see a Christian country. By the grace of God, 23 years ago, my dream was fulfilled. God sent me into Britain as a missionary. However, what I found, what I met in Britain, is a far cry of my expectation. I was expecting a Christian country. I was expecting a parliament that legislates according to the word of God. Amen. I was totally shocked. May I say that 23 years after, I have not come out of my shock. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, up till today, Britain, a lot of people in this country don't understand that this nation was built on Christian principle. Well, I find a lot of people want to be politically correct. Mm. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm an historian. I have studied the history of this nation. This is a Christian nation. If you look at our parliament, there is a room there called Moses' room. If you look at our monarch today, the coronation is almost like you are ordaining a minister of the gospel. Look at our judiciary. The framework of our laws in this country is from the Bible. You know what? There is not many countries that welcome guests, visitors like this country. That is why I said to people, if you don't like my nation of adoption, if you are here to mess about with my nation, Great Britain, you can as well take the next available flight and leave. Britain is a Christian nation. And we give no apology to it. Amen. Ladies and gentlemen, question, what is the problem with this nation? Well, some people say the problem with this nation is that we have a banking crisis. Some other people say the problem with our nation is that we don't trust the politicians. Well, some people say the problem with this nation is that we have a problem with teenage pregnancies. Well, some people say the problem with Great Britain is are the terrorists. Well, can I just, can I just uh, disagree with you? The problem with Britain has nothing to do with the politicians. The problem with, the Brit with Britain has nothing to do with our media. Britain has only one and only problem. Our problem today is that we have turned our backs on the God of our fathers. The God that gave us a great name, the God that gave us fame and made us great among the committee of nations. Look at how beautiful this country is. Everybody wants to come here. Everybody wants to be part of this country. Anyone can say anything in this nation. It's not like that. Our problem is that we have tried to kick God out of our national life. Even the church that is meant to stand for the truth. Even the church of Jesus Christ that is supposed to be the pillar and the foundation of truth. Most of the people that preach on the pulpit today, they will be rather politically correct than biblically correct. Ladies and gentlemen, on this wonderful occasion of the 800th anniversary of the Magna Carta, I am saying God sent a voice 
from the nation of Nigeria. That is a harvest of the seed that Great Britain has sown. If there is something we need to do, we need to go back to the God of our Father. Mm -hmm. We need to find God once again. We need to go back to our church. Our politicians must begin to go back to our Bible. Let me say something. It's not over yet. I am not a pessimist. I believe with all of my heart, God will once again visit our nation. Amen. I believe Amen. the kind of revival yes. that came during the time of John Wesley yeah. that changed this nation. Yeah. I believe once again, God is going to send that revival. Amen. Can I appeal to us? Can I just beg us? Please don't let Great Britain die through your neglect. Don't let this nation die through your neglect. God is looking onto each and every one of us. It's time we speak up. It's time we join the movement. I believe that Great Britain will once again be great. I believe that once again, the glory of God will be seen in this world. Amen. I believe once again, Amen. this parliament will be dedicated to Christ. Amen. I believe that our justice system will rule from the word of God. I believe that the glory of God will come over this nation. I believe that my children, one day, they will say, God bless Great Britain. I'm looking forward to the day that the next prime minister will take over the reins of government. And he will introduce the parliament and say, God bless Great Britain. And nobody will be afraid to say boldly from Westminster here, from the palace there, to say Great Britain is a Christian country. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for this opportunity. God bless.